So now today we'll see how to integrate Clerk into Next.js application. So Clerk is very popular and easy to integrate authentication service. So you can easily integrate in your Next.js, React or any type of application. So you don't have to write much code. So let's see how to do that. So for that, I have created a simple React application using Create Next app. And now you can go to clerk.com and sign in with your account. So if you don't have account, you can create your account and log in with a GitHub or a Gmail account. So I'll log into my dashboard. So once you log in or create account, you will see this option, create application. So here you need to give some name for your application. So I have given name for this clerk of demo. So you can give anything, demo. Now you can see how the login screen will look once you integrate this particular clerk authentication. So whichever type of authentication you want, you can just enable that. If I want Facebook, you can see now Facebook is also displayed. So any type of authentication you want, you can just add that, let's say LinkedIn also that will be displayed. So I will go with email and Google and uh, let's click on create application. So now you will see steps for integrating this clerk. So first thing is we need to install this package. So let me stop this and I will install this NPM package. Now the next thing is we need to add these API keys. So I will copy this and we need to create a .env.local file. So here, inside here, so inside your project, not in any specific folder, create dot env dot local. So here we'll add all environment variable. So now I have pasted all these credentials. Now we need to create middleware dot ts. So if you are using TypeScript, you name it dot ts. If you are not using, you can use js extension. So make sure you correctly read. So documentation very clear, it's written that if you are using SRC directory, then you need to clear create this file inside SRC. So most of the developers make mistake here. So I am using SRC. So you need to create that file inside SRC folder. If you are not using SRC, you need to create it outside. Don't make this mistake that creating at wrong place. Otherwise, the authentication will not work. So now I will create this middleware.js. I will copy this and I'll, I have this. And I have this SRC folder, so I will click on SRC. Make sure not click on app. So I will select the SRC and I will click middleware.js. So I'm not using TypeScript, so I will select JS. And I have now pasted all the code. So you can see this is app is separate and middleware is separate. So it's inside the SRC folder. Now, next thing is we need to add this clerk provider component. So the main layout, app layout.tsx. So here app layout.js. So let's start the application again. And here we need to add this clerk provider. So we need to wrap our entire application with this clerk provider. So I add it here and I close it here. And make sure to import it. So from add clerk slash next step. So you can see it's imported here. Now, these are optional, so if you want, you can add that, but we don't need to do that, and that's it. Now, let's see how it displays. So let's, we are already running. So if I access localhost 3000, you will not see any change. You will not see any login uh, screen or login authentication. So by default, clerk, all the routes are public. So you can click on this, continue to Next.js guide. So it will have more instructions. So you can see nothing is displayed. So even if I refresh, you don't see the login screen because clerk by default has all the route size public. So if you see the package.json, which version of clerk you, we are using, we are using version five. So this is the latest version. If you are using version less than five, all the routes are private by default. So you need to make sure which version of clerk you are using. So always follow the documentation. Don't go to any article. That article might be older and the changes will not work for you. So always go through the documentation. Documentation of clerk is really nice. It's up to date. So whenever there is any change, you will find that in documentation, not in any specific article. So now I will click this continue to next JS guide. 
and here just scroll down now we need to create the sign in and sign up pages so just copy this file name so don't copy app we already have app file folder so here just select the app folder select the app uh, file icon and paste that name so dot jsx so it will automatically create that entire folder you can see inside sign up it has created that folder and there is pay dot now we can paste this code inside it now we need to create sign in page so don't copy this app and slash now again select the app folder click on the file icon paste that name and change it to JFX as we are using Java code. Now I will again copy this and paste it here. So we now you can see by default clerk middleware makes all routes are public. So here inside the middleware.js, if you see we have this clerk middleware. So by default in the latest version 5, all the routes are public. In the previous version of before 5, it was all routes were private. So make sure you check that. Now we want to create some private route. So this is public. So localhost anyone can access. But if I try to access dashboard, I should see that login screen or sign up screen. So currently I don't have any dashboard route. So let's create a dashboard. So inside app, I will create dashboard slash page dot JSON. So this is the dashboard component. Close all other files. So you can see dashboard page dot JSX. Now I will create the boilerplate code and I will name it that. So this is the dashboard page. So this dashboard page, I want to make it private. So only if you are logged in, I should be able to access it. So now as I have created this folder and file, if I refresh, you can see dashboard page is getting displayed. So we see this text. So this is the styling that comes by default with Tailwind, uh, with Next.js. So if you don't want, you can remove all of the styling here. Everything will be removed. And if I refresh, now you will see there is no style. So this is the dashboard page, but I want only logged in user to access this. So how can you do that? So let's go again to the documentation. So let's copy this. And go to that middleware. And I will replace this clerk middleware with whatever we have copied. So previously it was like this. Now we have added this. So with default, all the routes are public, but I don't want now public. I want some routes as private. So I will remove this line and add it here. Now here, by default, all routes are public. So here I will mention all routes which I want to be private. So I will make this slash dashboard. And I don't have any such route, so I will remove that. It's not. So here we are checking if it's not public, then protect. So I will change it here, is private. So all the private routes I have mentioned here. So if it's private, so I'll remove that not. If it's private, then protect. Now with this change, let me restart this application again. So we don't need that, but still it's good to restart once you make any middleware related change. And now if I go, and refresh the dashboard page. Let's see what happens. So we are getting this error. So we need to import. We forgot to import this. And we don't need to import anything else. So if we refresh again, you can see we are redirected to login screen. Automatically we are redirected. And whatever we have selected, let's say continue with Google and email. That's what we selected. So you can, if you want to add some extra, as we have seen previously, you can go to the clerk dashboard, click on user authentication, social icons, and you can enable whatever you want to add. So enable sign in Facebook, click on save. And now you can see this is working. So if I refresh, you can see now Facebook is also this. So whatever you configure in the clerk dashboard, you can, you will see that on login and sign up. So this is login. So you can see there is sign up link. If I click, this is sign up link. So you have sign up and login screen created. But if you see, this is not your local host or any specific domain. This is some random URL, which I don't want. I want local host slash sign up, so which we have created. So here, if you scroll, we need to create these environment variables. 
So let's add this inside dot tnv. Bit here. And now that's it. So again, once this dot tnv is changed, you can refresh or restart the application slash dashboard. Now you can see we are correctly redirected to localhost 3000 slash sign in. Also, we have created sign up. So if you directly enter sign up, you will land on the sign up page. You can see we are correctly logging. So by default, localhost 3000 I can access because that is by default public route. So anyone can access this. So that's what we have mentioned in middleware. So by default, all routes are public. So whatever are private, you can mention that here, add extra routes if you have. And here we are checking. If it's private, then protect it. So that's the only thing we need. And if I access now dashboard, you will see that login screen. So this does not look good. So we can modify the CSS here. So let's go to sign in. So here we can add a div. And let's use 11 classes. Flex justify center, item center, height, screen. So this is sign in. So now you can see it's displaying in the center. Let's use the same for sign up. Now we can click on the sign up link and you can see this is displayed in the center. So we are successfully able to see this. So let's log in with, uh, so I can click on the login uh, with Google. Click on Google. Now after selecting that Google account, you can see now we are logging in. You can see we are logged in. You can see we are not redirected to login or log uh, sign up page. So if I access dashboard again, you can see we are already logged in. So we don't get login screen again. So now how to log out? Clerk authentication provides some components. So inside dashboard page, we can include user button. This is from Clerk Nexus. Once you include this component, you will see option to log out. So you can see profile icon is getting displayed here. And I can click and sign out. So this does not look good on the left side. So let's style this. So instead of adding this in dashboard, we can also add that in the layout. So in dashboard, we can create layout.jsx. We can call it dashboard layout. And this layout file will always execute. So I'll render the children here. And before that, I will include that user button. So it's up to you how you want to style. So once you create layout.jsx, this app page, whatever you have created, that will wrap around this layout. So you can see this is now getting displayed and dashboard is also getting displayed. So I can sign out. Now you can see you are redirected to login screen. So home page. Now again, I can, when I try to go to dashboard page, you can see we again get this sign in page. So as you are logged out, you need to again sign. So I will again click on Google. You can see dashboard is displayed along with that particular icon to log in, log out. You can also manage your account. So you click on manage and you can change your email. So you can change that information. And you can also customize this from this clerk dashboard. So whatever you want, account portal. Customization, you can customize whatever you want. So now I will close this and how to get the information of logged in user. So by default, clerk provides the API is really nice. So here, let's say I want to get the information of who is logged in. So there is use user, use user hook, so again from clerk next chest. And let's print that user so you can see what it contains. Now this is a custom hook. So you cannot use custom hook inside the server component. So you may need to declare this as a client. This is just an example. You should not make page.jsx as a client. 
if you want to add some client functionality, create separate components. Page.jsx should be a server component. This is just an example how you can use that. So once you add any custom hook, you need to make that component as a client. And if I refresh here, you can see user object, what it contains. User object contains a user property and it has all the information of that logged in user. You can see first name, full name, you can also get their other information like uh, email address, if there is a phone number attached, that also you can get. So primary email address, you can get all the information of the logged in user. So you just need to destructure this user prop. And if I print that user prop, then you will see that user information. So now you can see you get the direct user property and whatever I want to print, let's say I want to print full name, I can use user dot full name. So if I refresh. So initially this will be undefined. So make sure to add optional chaining. And here instead of dashboard, I can display that name. User for full name. I can make this centered align. Here I can say flex. Yes, if I center. So you can see this is getting this. You can display this user button wherever you want. You can style this user button. So you can add extra div here. So you can see this is displayed in the center. You can add margin Y3. You can see now you can see this information. You can also display at the end. So that's how you can easily integrate clerk authentication. Clerk authentication is really easy to use, integrate into React or Next.js application. You need to just follow the steps in the documentation. Always follow the steps in the documentation whenever you want to integrate it. Don't follow any blog article because that might be outdated. Then you will waste hours why something is not working. You will also not find on Stack Overflow when there is any change. So always follow the documentation. And you can also see the logged in users. So if I click on users, you can see who is the currently logged in user. So all the logged in users information, you can see it. So that's how you can integrate Clerk authentication into your next JS application. So if you found this video useful, do like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.